This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now let's configure the disks on our server core installation. If I'm not already in PowerShell here, I'm just going to type in PowerShell. And we could connect remotely with PowerShell and do this as well. I'm going to type in get-disk. And I can see down here I've got two disks, disk 0 and disk 1. And if I just want to get certain information, for example, I can pipe it to the format table, just get the number size, partition style, and operational status. So I can see, okay, uh, disk number 1 here, this is the one we want. Disk 0, this is actually our our C drive. Uh, disk 1 is the new one we want to format. And it's actually already got a partition style of MBR. I want to change that to GPT. And there's nothing on it right now, so I can go ahead and clear it out. And let's go over to a Windows 10 machine now and look at this remotely as well. Okay, I'm on a Windows 10 machine. This is part of a domain. My server core is still part of a work group, so we've already discussed how to connect to it remotely by opening certain firewall rules. I've installed the remote server administration tools. I've added my server here by the IP address of it, and I've gone to... Uh, manage as and inputted the uh, administrator of the server core installation. So now I'm going to right click on it, open up computer management so we can just connect to it. And let's take a look at disk management so visually we can see what it looks like while we're using the PowerShell. So there's disk 1, or disk 0, and there's disk 1. So that's what we're seeing when we use the get dash disk commandlet. And there are a couple other commandlets we can use to get information. There's the get dash partition commandlet. So we can see there's two partitions here, partition 1 and partition 2. Partition 2 is actually my C drive. Partition 1 is that 500 megabyte partition. We can go back visually and take a look at it as well. So these are our partitions here. There's the 500 megabyte one and then our C drive. There's currently no partition on disk 1. And we can also use the get-volume commandlet. This will show us our volumes. Our D drive, this is actually the CD-ROM drive here. We've got, again, we've got that system reserved, and then our C drive. So now we know disk 1 is what we want to work with, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear it out. I know there's nothing on it I need, so I'm going to type in clear disk 1. Are you sure you want to perform this action? Yes. So this completely erases it and, and removes any uh, partitioning and uninitializes it. And visually, if we go back and look at it here, we can see now it's not initialized, and we may need to reconnect to disk management in order to see this. So next, we're going to initialize dash disk, and disk number 1 is what we want. So by default, it uses the GPT partition style, and that's what we want. If we wanted a different partition style like MBR, we'd have to specify it in the commandlet. Now let's create a new partition with the new dash partition commandlet. Again, we're on disk number one. We're just going to use the full size of the disk, and we're going to make it drive letter E. Okay, that's been created. And finally, we just need to format the volume so that it's usable. So we need to format it with a file system, drive letter E, and the file system is NTFS. All right, now we have our E drive here, and visually, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm just going to go up to action here. Let's rescan our disks. And there is a possibility that we have to close out and actually reconnect or go away from it and come back to it. So it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and reconnect so it can get the new disk information. And there it is, our E drive. Now we could have done this with disk management remotely as well without using PowerShell. So either way works. Now let's go ahead and create our directories here for our virtual machines and our virtual disks. We're going to use the new dash item commandlet. We're creating a folder on our E drive here called virtual machines, specifying the type as directory. And we'll create one for our virtual disks. And now our drive's all set up. 